6101, Rand Barton, Schneider, Texas, with Benny. Weight of the animal, 1335. Weight of the animal, 1335. In the crossbreds, class three, second place. 6191, Sydney Killer, Kimball, Nebraska, with Taz, the weight 1218. From class four, second place, 6174, Andrew Hodges, Lebo, Kansas, with Tracy, the weight 1235. From class five, second place, 6219. Mason Mills, Morriston, Florida, Woo with Blue Bear, the weight 1298. From class six, second place, 6196. Dalton Lind, Eaton, Colorado, with 88, the weight of the animal 1334. From class seven, second place, 6106. Trinity Scott, Burlington, Colorado, with Bunny, the weight 1360. Wow, all four legs. From class eight, oh, second place, 6185. Garrett Pullinger from Harris, Missouri, with number 44, the weight 1396. From class nine, second place, Colton Shaw, Canyon, Texas, with number seven, the weight 1430. From class 10, second place, 6080. Tyler Camlin, Holyoke, Colorado, with Bob, the weight 1460. And finally, from class 11, second place, 6233. Megan Schroeder, Wiesner, Nebraska, with Skipper, the weight 1518. Next in the ring, we'll bring in our champion and first place animals from the classes. Your champion British breed, 6097. That's Casey Blaine. Slayton, Texas, with fresh money, the weight 1395. Sixty sixty six Seth Tucker, Lindsay, Oklahoma, with Daz Garman, the weight thirteen seventy two. Crossbred, class three. First place, sixty one fifty. Cooper Bailey, Preston, Iowa, with Ray, the weight twelve hundred twenty pounds. Class four. First place, sixty eight ninety four. Dalton Shanks, Colfax, Iowa, with Junior, the weight 12.55. Class 5, first place 61.82. Jagger Horn, Anson, Texas, with Luke's Pride, the weight 12.91. Class 6, first place 61.98. Dalton Line. From Seton, Illinois, with Twister, the weight 1328. From class seven, first place, 6263. Shiloh Shockey, Westmoreland, Kansas, with Red Rocky, the weight 1369. From class eight, first place, 6223. Austin Reitzenstein, Kersey, Colorado, with Hammer. The weight 1389. From class nine, first place, 6201. Ali Morande, York, Nebraska, with Teddy. The weight 1403. From class 10, first place, 6253. Austin Bieselmeyer, Amherst, Colorado, with Critter. The weight 1470. And finally. From class 11, first place 6133, Cassidy Brimmer, Fullerton, Nebraska, 
with Matt, the weight 1511. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your grand champion lineup. How about a big round of applause for our first and seconds and then champions. Support of youth and or livestock programs in this region. This year's Stowe Whitmore Award goes to an individual that served the National Western Stock Show in many capacities for decades. Chairman of the National Western. Always a champion, striving for fair competition in the livestock area, especially... He grew up on a operation that showed cattle, hogs, and sheep, and was diversified green and livestock enterprise. Currently, he's the professor at Western Illinois University. I guess I do the short straw and we'll go uh, first this evening on the, on the judges' behalf. Uh, uh, really, to be honest with you, I was a little nervous uh, coming to the National Western to be part of a, a judges' panel like this, simply because it was a new experience for me, uh, not knowing that uh, uh, how things were going to be done, and uh, do we mark cards, do we talk, what do we do throughout the day. Uh, and I have to say, as I went through the day, it was very enjoyable. Uh, I sure thought things worked well, and, and uh, uh, you know, on behalf of the judges, I guess I'm one that embraces a little variety, and when you looked at that board today, maybe each class wasn't blanketed three for three, one through ten, or one through eleven, and you could look at that one of two ways. You could say, well, one or two guys were smarter than the other one, or you could simply say, good livestock come in different shapes and sizes, and different people have different ideas of where we want to set. What's the ultimate goal? We want to put the most mass, the most muscle, and the most beastly looking body cavity on one that moves like a marathon runner and one that looks like a, uh, basically, for lack of better terminology, a supermodel from a profile. We want the intangibles that are so hard to find. They're hard to breed. They're rare finds and gems. And as a livestock feeder in a family that shows some livestock, when you are an owner of one of those individuals, uh, it's great pride for the family, great pride for the breeder that, that we can bring livestock of that caliber to uh, a national show. I expected the quality to be good within in each class. I guess I didn't realize it would be quite as deep in some of the classes as what it was. You get into some of our middle heater weights there. Uh, there were cattle six and seven deep that were absolutely impeccably presented. You can tell the effort that was put in by the families was tremendous. And uh, from my standpoint, I understand how much effort it takes to get something to a final drive. And so the decisions that we make as judges, I take them very seriously. And I want to make sure when I get in the plane tomorrow and fly home, if nothing else, I'm satisfied with how the livestock were sorted. I'm satisfied with how the livestock were described to you. And if you have differences of opinion, that is why we show livestock. I know I can speak on behalf of the other two judges as we visited over lunch. We are all very comfortable with what we did. I think we all three had an excellent day. Uh, to the Ryman family, I think the, the sponsorship award for the champion steer, I uh, had the opportunity to know Nick, and uh, I always love my conversations with him because uh, for those that know me, I have a moderate short attention span. Um, you know, parts of today got to me a little bit because some of these uh, processes took a little long for me. And I tend to be one that likes to move at a pretty quick pace. Uh, Nick always held my conversation and held my attention during our conversation because he has two things that are very important uh, to me, and that is loyalty and talent. And uh, he was a rare combination of those two ingredients, and as a result, he was a very, very successful cattleman, not only in terms of generating great steers and great females, but also his customer service that he provided to his exhibitors and families that purchased genetics from Ryman Ranches. Uh, nobody ever had a bad word to say about it. To the show staff that, that invited me out and invited us out to work as a panel. I sure appreciate uh, the, the efforts that were put forth. I appreciate the invitation. It sure wasn't taken lightly from my standpoint. Last but not least, it's a great honor to hit this green turf tonight. Uh, those of you that had breed champions or class winners out here, make sure you enjoy the moment because it's hard to get back to this particular level. If you've been here before and you're back again, compliments on the consistent ability uh, to be successful. If you didn't hit the green carpet tonight, try again next Next year. Uh, you know, showing livestock is about winning. More importantly to me, showing livestock is about spending time with your family, spending time with your friends, and enjoying the experience. With that stated, if you would please, let's congratulate our class winners. I'll pass the microphone. Uh, 
uh, once again a great speech and, and, and to me uh, being able to work with these uh, side by side with these uh, two gentlemen here has uh, been, been a great day. It's been a wonderful day. The cattle, like I said, have just been incredible. Uh, each uh, particular class, I think, uh, come with just a lot of quality all the way down through there. And like, uh, like uh, Dr. Mark uh, said uh, to me uh, you know, when he was speaking here, that uh, you can look at that in different ways, but I think uh, when you, you look at that and, and the different caliber of cattle and the high uh, quality that there is, you know, I wouldn't expect it to be the same. But, uh, you know, when we look at the uh, uh, National Western, uh, you know, I, I, I mean, I'm going to be straight up. Uh, <laughs> I think when I showed up at the office, these two guys were looking at me like, what are you doing here? But anyway, uh, uh, you know, so it was like I didn't get the call till late. Uh, you know, it was, uh, uh, I, I mean, it was just one of the things that, uh, you know, there's some pressure involved, but uh, there's an honor to it, too. So uh, it's been a lot of fun. And, and like I said, I want to thank the National Western uh, for putting the uh, confidence in me. Uh, you know, this, uh, this arena is pretty special. Uh, we've done real good in here as a family, and we've done not so good. So I, I know all the emotions that go with it. It, uh, it can be rough in here, and like I said, it can be awesome in here. And uh, to me, there's something about this, this whole Coliseum that brings a lot of magic. And so uh, it, it's an honor for me to be here. You know, the Ryman family is always special to us. Uh, Kai's first win was 2006 at the American Royal, came from Nick Ryman. And, and uh, you know, he uh, talked about all his talent and everything like that. He's just a good guy. So anyway, can't can't deny that. I uh, you know, spent a lot of time with him uh, back in the barn. So anyway, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, like I said, I'm a believer in this program, uh, what it does, and uh, appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I'll echo many of the same comments. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the National Western for the opportunity to be out here. What a privilege. Uh, uh, thoroughly enjoyed uh, the opportunity last year. And, uh, uh, you know, this year uh, I was looking forward to it uh, uh, all along. And, and uh, great uh, set, of, set of guys to be out here and to sort with. And uh, uh, even though we didn't place every class uh, the same, I think we, we saw everything the same. And uh, have the utmost respect for, for Dr. Hogue and Kurt Stilwell both. Uh, just uh, tremendous uh, evaluators and livestock. Rig girls out here helping as well. Uh, awesome ring help sure makes a, a show go along, and uh, that's uh, is pretty darn important when you're out here to keep things rolling. We're not going to go back through and talk about these cattle. I thought it was a heck of a set of steers. Uh, you know, there there's several good cattle out here, and and often, uh, you know, in the different circles I'm in, sometimes uh, I've been challenged on you know, well, what what is the real value of this, and and I think we all know know what the value is. It's uh, it's about our young people and about these kids and it's about the, the relationships and the contacts that, that you make and without a doubt uh, youth livestock exhibition has had the single largest impact on my life uh, uh, no question and I hope that many of you can say the same as as you uh, go on uh, whether you stay in the livestock industry or not I hope you can look back and and uh, if you haven't already thank your parents uh, for allowing you the opportunity to participate in, in this uh, activity. And, and I think the cattle are good. You know, we talk about, well, where does this fit in the industry? And, and you know, the, the cattle industry has uh, obviously been pretty good lately here. And uh, we've seen some changes in the industry. And, uh, you know, there's there's scuttle about weights and where do we need to be. Uh, there's no question cattle weights are, are, are going higher. And I think that's a good thing. That's what the industry is doing. We've seen it out here today. Uh, you know, there's some heavy cattle out here. But uh, some of these heavy cattle are pretty darn good as well. Well, even when we get all the way to the final classes, I think we had great cattle. I know we've talked long enough. Uh, again, a great set of cattle, yet uh, uh, I believe and we believe there's one that stands alone out here as a flat-out good one. He is stout. He is awesome built. He can get out and go. Uh, it's going to be my honor and privilege to go out and select the grand champion. Let's give all these exhibitors one last round of applause. He will. Champion Market Steer for the 2015 National Western Stock Show goes to 
Shiloh Shockey from Westmoreland, Kansas with Red Rocky, the weight 1369. That's exhibitor 6263. That's the best one ever. Right? Level roll 6106. Trinity Scott from Burlington, Colorado, in the contention for reserve. like the honor's going to go to Kirk Steerwall. There it is. And the reserve grand champion, Martin B. with the 2015 National Western Stock Show. This is the second place battle from the round seven. It's 6106. Trinity Scott, Burlington, Colorado, with money in the weight 1360.